nightlife in Tijuana can be anything you want it to. It's a border town, so you have anything from college kids hopping over to these really nice, good craft beer bars. And Colectivo 9 is such an amazing place because it fits into that. You know, you walk in there and you make your night whatever you want it to be, whether it be the Japanese restaurants, empanadas, whether it be a hamburger. You have all these guys with all these different perspectives, and that's kind of what nightlife is in Tijuana. Incredible to me how all these places have been changing. It was when you would get your like, I left my soul in TJ Nick Nats, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, and I don't even know how I'm gonna decide where to eat. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, there's like nine places, places like in one. Like, I don't even know <laughs> how we're gonna decide. O sea, todos son cocineros. cocineros. Nosotros nos conocimos en la escuela. En la escuela, la escuela de, de cocinar. Colectivo 9 nace con un grupo de amigos. Pues uno por uno nos fuimos juntando, nos fuimos <risa> reuniendo y yo pongo las hamburguesas, yo pongo el, la comida japonesa. ¿Y aquí antes qué era? O sea, ¿siempre ha estado así el lugar o, o cuando lo encontraron cómo estaba? Toda la revolución durante muchísimo tiempo eran bares y curiosidades. En el 2008 estuvo, este, hubo una ola ahí como, como de inseguridad aquí en Tijuana y todo el mundo desapareció, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Tijuanenses, de, americanos, todo el turismo. Y ya por ahí del 2014, pues salimos todos nosotros, ¿no? Ajá. Y hay que empezar a rehabilitar todas las cosas. Le perdimos y, el miedo. Teníamos que recuperar lo que es de nosotros los tijuanenses, ¿no? Sí. Parte es bien importante de la revolución. Es, sí, ese es el corazón, sí. ¿no? Es el corazón de Tijuana. Se está descentralizando todo y está haciendo... Pues este movimiento que está todavía en la revolución es una maravilla, digo. ¿Cómo se sienten ustedes? Porque fueron como uno de los primeros de empezar esta como revolución la revolución. Echándole ganas. <risa> como todos los mexicanos. Exactamente. La revolución ya tomó otra vez vida, los bares, la gente de noche, el ruido de la ciudad. Es, es muy bonito y entras y es como ya más, más tranquilidad, ¿no? Viene cenas y te vas a, a, la, fiesta, a la, fiesta. la fiesta. La gente venía y entraba y al final del pasillo decía, es que este es como un oasis, es como un lugar <risa> escondido, no parece que está este lugar ahí adentro. Acá esto tiene algo diferente, ¿no? O sea, está la japonesa, las hamburguesas, italiana, mariscos. Nos cuidamos entre nosotros pues para, para poder ofrecer algo diferente y que no se repitan como los conceptos. Way to end up our to end our night here mm -hmm. in TJ. Which one is this one? The marinara. Mmm. You know what it tastes like? Like a really good uh, uh, pizza roll. What's that one? Oh, this is the bacon with ham. Mm. I don't think I've ever had like empanadas that taste this way. I mean, I've never been to Argentina either, but I mean. Yeah. I mean, these, in are on LA, par, these are on par with like some of the best I mean, ones I've had. I mean, in LA, I've never had <laughs> them this good. I'm serious. Yeah, especially when they're like made right in front of you. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Look oh, at that. that's all you, brother. Bacon, meat, cheese. That barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce is really good, huh? Nice and tangy. Our kitchen is probably the size of the like half of this place. And yet they were able to put nine restaurants in this place. Yeah. And I think that's what gives it the home cooked meal. I, I love it. The textures are just so on point. Well, it's like wok fry, no? I think when you pay attention to texture, yeah. is when you know they like they really pay attention to True. the food. The broth is like nice and light, but like a uh, Mexican, like a caldo de, de puerco. I'm double fisting with ramen and empanadas <laughs> and TJ. I really like the environment here. It feels like a, like what it is, like a bunch of culinary college kids who got together and created this uh, collective. It is. And it's they kept that special. vibe to it. Like he was saying, they made their own tables. 
They're the ones putting the brick on the wall. And you can really tell how much they care about the space. New okay. generation, New right? New generation. I love the fact that they can feel so much pride in where they grew up. Yeah. In. And they're like, no, it's not gonna, you know, like it's not gonna go down. Like we're the ones who are gonna bring it back yeah. up and they have. Very, very prideful of where they live, as they should be. Living in LA or living in America, a lot of people think like people who live in Mexico like only eat tacos every day. We so have like, an now. appreciation of all sorts of different flavors and textures and... But the, and the world's open now. I think everybody from any part of the world is very familiar with the rest of the world. We're all True. so connected now. Yeah. I don't think you can replicate that place anymore. Oh, else. no, definitely not. A lot of series of events that led up to it. Yeah, it perfect great. place to end our Tijuana pit Let's stop. go back to the hotel and... Uh, Get my stomach ready for La Guerrerense tomorrow. Guerrerense? I am yeah, ready. Yeah. Beautiful, the food's great, it tastes very clean. Kind of familiar to something in the US, but it's still very much Tijuana. And I think it's a great place to start a Tijuana visit there.